Welcome to another Flypaper Academy video. In this video, we're going to go over our brand new viewpoints feature that is built into our Sherlock add-in for Navisworks. So with the viewpoints feature, it is a super simple tool to publish your clashes as viewpoints to your saved viewpoints in Navisworks. So one of the reasons you might wanna do this is that uh, maybe your detailers all use Navisworks Freedom, so they don't have access to the Clash Detective. So with this Viewpoints feature, it is really simple to get a lot of the functionality from uh, the Clash Detective into your saved viewpoints that anybody that's using Freedom is using um, so that they're able to access that, uh, those really helpful viewpoints for each one of their clashes. So I'm gonna take us through a workflow where we will uh, kind of set up the Clash Detective and run Distill, and then I'll show you what Navisworks can do uh, natively, um, and then I'll show you where our Viewpoints feature really shines and comes in and uh, fills in the gaps. So the first thing is, is you would have already had your uh, Clash Test set up, um, however you want to set up your Clash Test. And then the next thing you would do is you would run Distill on it. So I'm not gonna go into Distill, you can watch one of our other videos for that, um, but I'm just going to distill every single test that's in here. So it'll go through and it'll group up our clashes so that we end up with groups of clashes rather than uh, individual clashes. All right, so now uh, I'm gonna go into this, say the sheet metal versus plumbing test, and I'm gonna just look through some of these and I'm gonna assign some of these as you might do uh, during coordination or before a coordination meeting. So I'm gonna say that you know, Dave is gonna do this clash um, and then maybe I'll just select a few more, um, assign those to Bob and then I'll assign a couple more here to Dave. So. Now, uh, let's take a look at what the uh, out of the box, out of Navisworks, what it can do. So if I was to go to the report tab of Navisworks in the Clash Detective, I can choose group headers only, which will make a single viewpoint for a single group rather than making viewpoints for every one of the clashes within the group. And I'm just gonna choose current test and um, have it save them as viewpoints. So Navisworks, uh, without Sherlock has now created this folder called sheet metal versus plumbing and it has put uh, folders in one for each group. Now the things that are uh, not so great about this is you cannot uh, click on the folder and have it bring you to the viewpoint. So now somebody is going to have to go into each one of these folders, click on them, uh, and then individually be able to go through them like this. Uh, to waste a lot of time. The other things that you don't get with this is when I click on this group 58, you can see that I don't even really know what I'm looking at. Um, yes, it's the same viewpoint that I got out of the Clash Detective, but the Clash Detective has some nice highlighting that's built into it where it'll highlight the model elements that um, are clashing in that area. But with this, I don't really know what, what I'm looking at. Um, and it also doesn't really give me a lot of information about where this clash is. So that's uh, those are some of the reasons why we built this viewpoints feature. So when you use our viewpoints feature, so you went through that process, you would have distilled your clash, you would have went through your coordination, you would have assigned some clashes, um, and then you can go to our viewpoints feature. Um, with our viewpoints feature, you can produce viewpoints for all of the clash tests all at once if you want to, or just a single one. So I'm just gonna do uh, viewpoints for the sheet metal versus plumbing test that we were working in. Um, and it just is telling you how many groups are in there. So uh, the first couple options you get to choose are um, how you want it to folder those uh, viewpoints. So you can do a top level folder, which would be by test, um, or you can change that to assignment, status, or none, uh, where it won't put them in folders at all. So I'm gonna choose test, so it puts all the viewpoints for sheet metal versus plumbing in a sheet metal versus plumbing folder. And then you also have a then by uh, option, which lets you define a subfolder within that one. So in this case, I'm gonna choose assignment because we went through that process and we assigned some of those clashes. So it'd be nice if 
all of the clashes that were assigned to Dave were in a folder for Dave. Um, so they're very easy for them to find. So I'm gonna do by test, group by test, and then by assignment. And then uh, our viewpoints feature has a few other uh, settings that allow you to create additional viewpoints that are really helpful. So I'm just going to turn all of these on and then just run this so that we can see what it's gonna do. So it's going through right now and it is creating viewpoints for all 67 of those, uh, those clash groups. And it's not only making 3D views for those, it's also making orient plan views for them so that you can see where those clashes are. It's making isolate viewpoints so that you can really understand which things are clashing. And it's also within each, all three of those viewpoints, the 3D, the orient, and the isolate viewpoints, it's highlighting the clashing elements in red and green, just like the clash detective does. So now that it's done, I can go in here and I'm gonna just click out of the Clash Detective so we don't have any dimming going on. So if I go to my save viewpoints, I now have a top level folder that is just called Clashes and then a timestamp. So that's just so that it you know, separates out um, the viewpoints each time that you create more viewpoints. Um, it, within there, you have, um, we only made uh, viewpoints for the sheet metal versus plumbing test. So you only have that one folder there. And then within that, you can see that I have three folders. I have a Dave folder, which are all the clashes that were assigned to Dave. I have a Bob folder, the, all the clashes were assigned to Bob. And then I have an unassigned folder, which are just all the rest of the clashes that weren't assigned to somebody. So if I go in here and look, you can see that it's created three viewpoints for each group. So you can see I've got a viewpoint for group 58. And when I click on that, you can see that it has now begun highlighting um, all the clashing elements. And that highlighting stays on even if you navigate around. So now when one of your detailers uses this viewpoint, uh, just like with the Clash Detective, um, they're able to move around, see, uh, look at this, and see all of the elements that are clashing because they're all highlighted just like the Clash Detective would be doing for you. Um, the second viewpoint that you get is an isolate viewpoint. So that is, uh, a section boxed version of the 3D view. So it's section boxed down to uh, just contain the clashing area. And um, it's also highlighting those um, elements in red and green for you. And then the third viewpoint that you get is an actual orient plan view. So you get that red lined arrow on it. You get the highlighting in red and green as well. Um, and if you move, start moving around in 3D, obviously the arrow will go away because it's just a red line. It's not like our Orient tool when you're actually using Sherlock, but the highlighting still stays. So you're really able to get an idea of where this clash is and what things are clashing from those three viewpoints that you're providing your detailers. Um, so I'm, if I go back to my group 58, see, you can see it puts me back into uh, a 3D view here of that group. And then because this viewpoint has now permanently altered uh, this model so that this is red and green, uh, we have included a reset appearances button right there at the top of the folder for you. So when you do that, it will uh, erase any of the red and green highlighting that it, any of the viewpoints that you're currently on or um, have. But when you, and then the same thing is true for all the other groups. So if I click on group 51, you can see that down here, there are some red and green highlighted uh, clashing elements. I've got that isolate view so that I can get rid of everything else and just focus on what's going on there. And then I've got that plan view as well. And the same is true for all of the other folders. So you're with this new viewpoints feature, you're really able to make your save viewpoints uh, very useful for your detailers unlike the, uh, the built-in reporting tool uh, in Navisworks. I think that takes us through our uh, new viewpoints feature. If you've got any questions, you can shoot us an email or reach out to us on our website. Thank you, have a great day.